Hi, today I have another video about the hybrid cross and here is a problem. Corn has a color gene and height gene with the following phenotypes. Homozygous dominant and heterozygous would be purple and uh, homozygous recessive white. Homozygous um, uh, dominant tall, heterozygous medium and uh, homozygous recessive would be dwarf. If the hybrid is self-fertilized, what is the resulting phenotypic ratio? And here is the five answers that you may choose from. And if you feel that you can solve this problem, you may stop video here, try to solve this problem on your own. And when you would be ready, you can run video again. And you can compare your answer with my answer and explanation. And here is my explanation. So, first of all, uh, we told that this is going to be the hybrid cross and this is going to be fer self-fertilized, so dehybrid and self-fertilized. What does it mean? That uh, both gene, we have two genes here, one is gene C, another is uh, gene T, one stands for color, another one stands for the height of the plant, so both of them would be um, uh, heterozygous because dehybrid means uh, two alleles, two different alleles, so what we have to do, we have to cross uh, capital C, small c, and capital T, small t, with uh, the same genotype, so with capital C, small c, and capital T, small t. So this is going to be dehybrid self-fertilization. So how to find uh, what is the probability that we have here on the left? And this is, would be easy. So, uh, for example, if we take uh, one of the uh, genotypes, for example, this one, because this is, would be uh, the same. So, we can find uh, different gametes that uh, such a plant can produce. For example, here would be one gamet. This is going to be uh, capital C and capital T. Here would be another one, that is uh, capital C and small t. And here is another one, that is small c and capital T. And here would be the fourth one, that would be small c and small t. So this is going to be parent 1, all possible genotypes, and parent 2, as you see, have the same uh, genotype, so uh, this parent 2 would produce the same type of gametes, so four uh, different types of gametes, so let me write this on the side, so the same type of gametes, capital C and uh, capital T, just like here, and here we have capital C and small t, so capital C and small t, next we have small c and capital T, and the last one, small c and small t. So now we build the Punnett square, and now we would be able to find all the possible genotypes and all the possible phenotypes also. So this is our Punnett square, and as you see, we got uh, 16 cells that we have to fill with uh, all the possible genotypes. So here we have capital C for the parent 1 and here would be parent 2 on this side. And as you see we have here uh, capital C and capital C here. So we put capital C, capital C here. And we have capital T here and capital T here. So we put capital T and capital T. Next cell we have capital C and capital C, capital C, capital C, and we have capital T and small t. So capital T and small t. In next cell we have uh, small c and capital C, so we put capital C, small c, and we have capital T and capital T here. So, capital T, capital T. Next we have capital C 
and small c and capital T small t uh, next row uh, next column we have capital C capital C capital T small t capital C capital C small t small t and uh, capital C small c and capital T small t here we have uh, capital C small c small t small t in this uh, column we have capital C small c capital T capital T capital C small c capital T small t and here we have small c small c and capital T capital T and the last in this column we have small c small c and capital T capital uh, small t and the last column we have capital C small c and capital T small t capital C small c and small t small t and here we have small c small c capital T small t here we have small c small c and small t small t now uh, when we know uh, all these genotypes this would be easy to find uh, all the possible phenotypes so as you see capital C and small c and uh, homozygous dominant and heterozygous means purple and uh, small c small c means white and uh, capital T would be tall and uh, heterozygous would means medium so homozygous dominant for T tall heterozygous medium and uh, homozygous recessive means dwarf so now we would use this information in order to find all the possible uh, phenotypes so uh, here uh, we have uh, for the first cell uh, we would have um, purple because uh, capital C capital C and uh, tall so this is one genotype so now uh, let's search for the same genotype for example in the next cell here uh, this would be different uh, phenotype because as you see we have a purple flower here but this one would be medium size or medium height but this would be tall so this one would be different so we wouldn't circle it right now and we would circle next one that is uh, purple and tall so now we are looking for the purple and tall and uh, next would be purple and medium so we don't circle it let's uh, move to the next row and we don't have here purple and tall but we have purple and tall here in the third uh, column and uh, we also have uh, this is all we don't have uh, any purple and tall anymore so our ratio would be three and next one uh, for example uh, this is going to be uh, purple and medium let's uh, look for the purple and medium and uh, this is going to be also purple and medium so two and this is also going to be purple and medium and this is also purple and medium uh, this is also purple and medium here and this one also purple and medium and that's it so uh, let's count one two three four five six so we have uh, six purple and medium so now let's um, change the color and what we have here so this is going to be uh, purple and small and this is also going to be purple and small and 
this is also going to be purple and small so only three so this is going to be three purple and small and uh, let me change the color once again so here we would have white and tall and this is going to be only one so one and also we would have uh, white and medium here and white and medium here so two and the last one would be uh, white as you see and it's also going to be uh, small so this is our ratio here that we got so three six three and uh, we have such answer here uh, that is uh, D three six three one two one so this is answer D and uh, now I hope you would be able easily to solve such problem if you would have on the exam that's all for today Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Goodbye.